In this last video about induction, we're going to prove an inequality. The thing about inequalities is there's a lot more you can do with them than an equality, so sometimes it can be hard to get an idea of what step you should take next. For that reason, we want to do some scratch work at the beginning of the proof, where we work backwards from the desired statement to try to figure out what forward steps need to be taken. In this example, we're going to prove that 5n squared plus n plus 1 is at most 6n squared for all n greater than or equal to 2. You may remember, this is exactly the definition of a big O relationship. So what we're really saying here is that 5n squared plus n plus 1 is big O of n squared. Now, if you've been paying attention to the last two videos, you know that at some point we're going to have to prove the statement 5 times k plus 1 squared plus k plus 1 plus 1 is at most 6 times k plus 1 squared. If that statement is true, then this statement will be true as well. 5k squared plus 10k plus 5 plus k plus 1 plus 1 is at most 6k squared plus 12k plus 6. Make sure that on your own work you can figure out how we get to that step. Uh, I will give you a hint the distributive law is used twice. In our inductive hypothesis, we will have assumed that 5k squared plus k plus 1 is at most 6k squared. Notice that's just the desired statement with k's instead of n's. So since we already know that that inequality is met, let's pretend these terms aren't here. That leaves us with the statement that 10k plus 6 is at most 12k plus 6. And since k is greater than or equal to 2, this statement is true. Here's how our proof will go. We're going to assume that k is greater than or equal to 2. That's going to tell us that 10k plus 6 is going to be less than or equal to 12k plus 6. Then our inductive hypothesis is going to give us that 5k squared plus 10k plus 5 plus k plus 1 plus 1 is no more than 6k squared plus 12k plus 6. And we'll be able to regroup that into the desired statement that 5 times k plus 1 squared plus k plus 1 plus 1 is no more than 6 times k plus 1 squared. Let's get started. As usual, we tackle the base case first. The base case is when n is equal to 2. So let's take 5 times 2 squared plus 2 plus 1. That's equal to 2 squared is 4, 20, 22, 23. 6 times 2 squared is 24, and sure enough, 23 is less than or equal to 24. So the statement is true in the base case. We assume the statement is true for k, so we assume that 5k squared plus k plus 1 is less than or equal to 6k squared for some k greater than or equal to 2. And we would like to show that 5 times k plus 1 squared plus k plus 1 plus 1 is at most 6 times k plus 1 squared. Now we're just going to repeat all the steps from our scratch work backwards. Because k is greater than or equal to 2, we know that 10k plus 6 is less than or equal to 12k plus 6. The inductive hypothesis says that 5k squared plus k plus 1 is at most 6k squared. Combining those two inequalities, we get the inequality that 5k squared plus 10k plus 5 plus k plus 1 plus 1 is less than or equal to 6k squared plus 12k, plus 6. That statement can be regrouped into 5k plus 1 squared, plus k plus 1, plus 1, and the right side can be regrouped into 6 times k plus 1 squared, which was what was claimed. Therefore, by induction, 5n squared plus n plus 1 is at most 6n squared for all n greater than or equal to 2.